Hey guys, so I'm going to be reviewing the five new colored mascaras from NYX. They're all kind of pastel colors. So there is Ismit Julep, Pink Perfect, Coral Reef, Perfect Pear, and last but not least, Forget Me Not. So these are all pretty pigmented considering the fact that they're colored mascaras and they're on the pastel side. A lot of times colored mascaras have difficulties showing up on someone with dark lashes, as I have. But these are pretty good. They all showed up relatively well. The best one that showed up is Mint Julep, which is the one we're going to start off with first. It's not, very, it's not a super minty color as the name would suggest. Um, it's much more of like a mid-tone sky blue. It's probably the most pigmented one out of the bunch. This formulation is quite wet. For reviewing purposes, I'm, I'm applying them to my top lashes, though really, though realistically speaking, I'd probably only do it on the bottom because I don't think I can pull off this kind of mascara. These are difficult to review because they're out of the ordinary, because the colors are out of the ordinary. So this is Mint Julep. It's great. Um, it's it's nice. It gives nice length, but volume is certainly lacking. It would be a little bit better volume if I had applied black liner, but I wanted to show you guys how they look, you know, with nothing, with absolutely nothing on except for a little bit of eyeshadow. So that is Mint Julep. Moving on to Pink Perfect. You can see it's not as pigmented as Mint Julep, but it's also quite nice for a subtle look. It's a baby pink and can have a tendency to make you a little, look a little bit sick. But because this one's kind of a softer pink, it doesn't really do that, thankfully. Moving on to Coral Reef, I had difficulties getting this to show up properly. It would only show up when the light hit it in a certain kind of way, like when I was applying the following color. When I was applying the following color, Perfect Pear, I could finally see it kind of when the light hit it in a certain way. Perfect Pear is kind of like a yellow, like a puke green, which sounds very unappealing. It was hard to show up, like it would be super duper pigmented in some areas. Once I really try to go in there and, you know, spread it around and coat my lashes evenly, they kind of turned kind of more of a whitish color with a little bit of a yellow t tinge to it. So definitely not my favorite. Last one, last but not least, is Forget Me Not. It's a little bit lighter than what the tube shows you. It's also just as wet as the others. The brush is pretty thin, which is a good thing about these. So these are pretty good for getting on the bottom lash line which is how I would be using them, to be honest. A reef one. So this one's also interesting. I think this one is like maybe the most wearable one out of the bunch. I don't really know, actually, but still super cool and interesting. So these retail for $7 on the NYX website. Overall, I think they're fun. They're interesting. If you're someone who uses these kinds of colors or have been looking for them, then I highly suggest them because the pigmentation is pretty good. If you have blonde lashes, then you have an extra advantage. You could just use a white base in any case, though I frankly don't think you need it. As for volume, I feel like these offer no volume, but I think that just has to do with the way the colors are. They're a little bit difficult to build up any kind of volume, whereas with black, you have black liner that kind of helps you out with that. And black liner also helps with these. I just didn't apply it while I was doing these little demos because I figured I wanted people to see how these lashes how these mascaras perform on their own. So overall, I would give them three stars out of five, or three bunnies. So those are my thoughts for the NYX colored mascaras. I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoy their purple, I enjoy their deep purple ones and their deep blue ones. If you're into colored mascaras, but you don't, but you really don't want to venture into the pastel side of it, then just using their basic purple one or blue one, they're great. They're just as great and they're a deeper color, so they're not so in your face. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.